So in this video, let's talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of the hydronium ion. And this is H3O3, uh, HCO3 plus, H3O plus. So that just looks ugly, but let me do it again. All right, so we're looking at the hydronium ion. And the molecular formula is H3O uh, Three O plus. Now, this in chemistry, when we really talk about H plus or protons, this is equivalent to a proton, right? We just because we don't like writing H three O plus, uh, we just call it a proton. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write out what I have in my molecular formula. So, in this case, I have three hydrogens and I have one oxygen, and my basis for drawing lower structures does not change, right? So I'm going to go to the periodic table. I'm going to see how much valence electrons does each, how much valence electrons each of these uh, does each of these atoms have, right? So in essence, when I look at the periodic table, I should see that oxygen gives me six valence electrons. Hydrogen again gives me one valence electrons. Now, the idea is that is I want to be able to count up the total number of electrons that I have to place, right? So the total number of electrons that I have to place. So in this case, I have one oxygen that's worth six valence electrons, but I have three hydrogens each worth in one valence electron. So essentially I'm taking six plus three times one is three. And that should give me nine valence electrons. Now, remember, this plus charge here is very important, right? So in chemistry, whenever we see an overall molecule having a plus charge, obviously it's an ion, it's a cation in this case, um, but it essentially means that we've lost one electron. So if I subtract one from this, I'm really placing eight electrons. Now, as you'd see in a lot of previous videos that I've made, we usually say that the central atom um, is uh, is usually furthest to the left. However, in this case, this is an exception, right? And just as a precursor, hydrogen will never really be your central atom. So in this case, we have oxygen surrounded by three hydrogen atoms, right? Now, what I like to do is the first thing I like to do is to form single bonds because that's the least that's the least amount of bonds I could form without overdoing anything, right? So then I could simply build up from there. So essentially. I have a single bond here, I have a single bond here, I have a single bond here. Now it should make sense that hydrogen can only form one bond, right? Because hydrogen only has one valence electron, right? This is lower structure for hydrogen. So it can only form one bond. Now we've used two, four, six electrons out of the eight total that we have to place, right? So this is very crude, right? So the, essentially the eight, that we 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 oh, that we calculated, we're using it as a correction factor because essentially, the amount of electrons that I place in this formula has to be equal to the eight that I've counted. So that's why we do it that way. Now, because hydrogen can't take any more valence electrons, and we're we're deficient in two electrons, the only other place that I could put these electrons is actually on the oxygen atom itself. Now. Let's count the total number of electrons we've placed. This becomes two, four, six, eight. Now oxygen octet is satisfied, and that's beautiful, right? So oxygen octet is satisfied. So we've used eight electrons total. So these two are matching. Oxygen octet is satisfied. And remember, hydrogen really doesn't have an octet, right? Because um, it can only form one bond. So to finally, to finish up our lower structures, because this is an ion, we have to put it in brackets. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the lowest structure of the hydronium ion. 